Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine and with a new season approaching, growers are going to be thinking about powdery mildew management in the vineyard. And that was one of the topics addressed at the Sonoma Grape Expo by Rhonda Smith, Viticulture Farm Advisor from the UC Cooperative Extension. And here's Rhonda with some tips. I think it's really critical that growers always keep in mind the fact that powdery mildew is an early season disease that they need to be diligent and aware of the fact that getting in on time, not necessarily right at bud break, but getting in at an appropriate time to take care of the ascospore infections that are starting in their vineyard, and then subsequently paying attention to the weather, paying attention to the temperature, which includes the weather, um, in terms of uh, the reproduction of the spores and the uh, colonies that are in their vineyard at, at the time. And of course, when they're doing so, Another important thing to keep in mind is coverage. It's hard to control powdery mildew unless you are actually hitting the target. And you can miss the target because your calibration is off, your nozzles are off, um, but, that's, but that's count to mount. So we can talk a lot about resistance management at any time, but calibration is important, hitting the target is critical, and all the, all the other conversation becomes moot if those factors are not in place. In terms of resistance management, there's a lot of research going on, and it's important that growers realize that due diligence is required every single time to make a decision on the products that they're going to apply. Um, keeping in mind what the uh, FRAC groups are, the Fungicide Resistance Action Committee groups, the labels, the numbers of which are indicated in every fungicide label, being aware that they are be attempting the best of their ability to rotate among the groups, being aware that when they're using materials with two modes of action, which means two frac numbers, and they tank mix a third product, the third product will probably be a different number than the other two, which is good, that works. However, the next application, you're gonna be kind of challenged because you've just used up three frac groups for that application, and then and ideally you would attempt not to come back with the initial subsequent application with any one of those same numbers. So that becomes a little dicey. It's doable. That means you sort of have to map out your plan before you actually start the season. And so that's an, in a perfect world that would occur. Thank you, Rhonda. Read more about powdery mildew management in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.